So we've taken our gloves off and we're just working on these things that we worked on before, which is the forward check, the kick, and the sweep out. So here he's breaking down for me the timing. So see how I wait for him to step forward? So my forward check comes up and then based on what his body does, I can either kick or sweep out the leg. I'm still like punting his leg, which is not, <laughs> which is not what you're supposed to do. He's so sweet that he put up with it for so long. It's actually a little bit painful on the ankle. So here he's teaching me timing when he makes that sound. Do you understand? Yeah. It's like, don't take, don't take so many steps. I'm just stumbling backwards. He's like, don't take so many steps. Basically, you put your forward check up, and then you step back, and as he follows you, you throw that kick, or you throw that sweep. Here he's trying to get me to go wider, like over to the side. I'm taking this enormous step and like punting his leg and missing because when I bring my leg down off of the check, I'm not bringing it square or forward. I'm bringing it back. If you bring it back, kick. But if you want to do the sweep, you have to bring it down either square or even a step forward. forward. You understand? See how he brings it down? Boom. What is it? A little tiny step forward? Yeah, so if I go up and he does nothing, mm. and I take a step back and he's following me, that's kick. Mm. If I go up, nothing, I step down. So I'm breaking this down as being like whether he takes a step forward or not. And but Kevin points out that it's if, if he takes a step forward either way. So it's actually, if I take a step back, kick. If I don't take a step back, I take his leg out. Because if he's stepping forward, you want to kick out the leg. Yeah. So if he blocks, you kick. So see how when I take a step back and he's following me, I throw the kick as he follows me. 